Blessed day everyone, welcome to our daily devotions and as we go back to our study on the Sermon on the Mount, we find ourselves looking at chapter 7, chapter 7 na po tayo, but um, we'll be looking at uh, verse 1 to 5, but we won't be able to uh, cover the whole section, but let me just read to you verse 1 to 5, actually let me read to you ver hanggang verse 6, but we will be covering uh, hanggang probably the first two verses, let me Read to you verse 1, chapter 7, verse 1. Judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use it, will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is a log in your own eye, you hypocrite? First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Verse 6, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. So clearly, we know that this section is, uh, uh, again, galing sa Sermon on the Mount, galing sa hari, coming from the king to kingdom citizens, showing us and, and telling us kingdom principles, right? We just finished the section uh, that deals with uh, not being anxious, right? And now we see Jesus giving us another command. This is perhaps a most uh, familiar passage, diba? Right? And chances are you've used this. In fact, uh, um, kahit nga hindi na even those who don't uh, um, have a relationship with Jesus Christ uses this uh, verse you do not judge so that, so that you won't be judged very often ito po ay na quote but we tend to misunderstand and misapply this does Jesus really say that we should not evaluate the actions or to judge uh, someone's behavior he does not mean that. As you read the Sermon on the Mount, diba? in chapter 6 alone, we, we see and diba, na pag-aralat na kung paano yung tinawag na mga hypocrites, yung, yung mga religious leaders, right? Many times in chapter 6, uh, he called um, the religious leaders hypocrites. In chapter 7, we, we see that, diba? It would go on and sa, sa buong uh, Gospel of Matthew. So, in chapter 7, it doesn't necessarily mean that we ought not to be judging. We ought to be accountable to other people's, I mean, to other believers, accountable to each other. And with regards to sin, we need to be calling out people who are in sin. So, this is not talking about not judging, per se, but judging hypocritically or, or being judgmental towards others, right? So, Jesus here is distinguishing the act of judgment and the attitude of being judgmental. So, ito yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon Diyos dito. And so, as we look at this, uh, we will be looking at it um, siguro the, the, the last two days of this week. Uh, we will be looking at it and look at it this way. Why should we not be judgmental or why should we not judge or why should we not be have this attitude of being judgmental, hypocritically judging others? Because una una in verse 1 to 2, it's prideful. I mean, it's foolish rather. It's very foolish. In verse 3 to 4, it's prideful. In verse 5, it is hypocritical. So we will look at it today So verse 1 and 2. Sabing ni Cristo, uh, um, judge not that you be not judged. Kung paanong sa section sa chapter 6 with regards to being anxious, diba? We saw a command there. Here we see another command. It's an imperative. It's in the present tense. Kung paanong ang uh, uh, pagiging um, ano ba sa Tagalog yung worrisome? Ma, ma, yun, yun na babagabag lagi or I don't think that's the right uh, translation. Yung mabilis ma mag-alala o ma 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 mabagabag ng 
uh, pag pangyayari sa buhay niya we were called to stop worrying and don't get back at it here we see Jesus saying uh, do not judge or, or stop judging and do not judge in the future right bakit na sinasabi yon na dapat hindi ganun well uh, um we see the the reason why he tells us in verse 2 for with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged and with the measure you use it you will be measured it will be measured to you verse 2 amplifies and clarifies how foolish being judgmental is why why is it foolish kasi kung paano magiging judgmental ka god would treat you that way as well for you will be judged by the same standard which with which you judge others you will be measured by the same measure you use again the principle that jesus is using here is the principle that he just taught us in chapter 6 diba dun sa pattern ng prayer diba forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us if you forgive diba uh, matthew 6 let me go back to matthew 6 verse 12 sabi nga ng panginoon uh, forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors 14. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly fathers will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. Same principle is being applied here or, or is being uh, used here by Jesus Christ. Judge not so you would not be judged. In the same manner that you are to be forgiving so that God would forgive you, you should also refuse to be judgmental so that God would not judge you with the same measure that you um, judge others. If a person judges others harshly, then he can expect harsh judgment from the Lord. So, how foolish that is, diba? Alam na natin ang prinsipyo yung binibigay sa atin ng ating hari. So there, therefore, we should not do that. Again, it, it is an imperative. It is a command. It is in the present tense. So we should be keeping on doing this and we should not start judging. Stop judging and do not start judging again. When we understand that we are given grace and we were forgiven and we were bestowed mercy, yung understanding na yan should flow out of our hearts that we would be forgiving of others and we would not be judging others. Right? The heart that has tasted the Lord's grace and forgiveness will always be restrained to be judging others. Diba? Kasi when we judge others, it's like you telling other believers or, or other people that you are God. Only God can judge. Diba? In, in the same manner that we, I mean, we ought to be um, accountable to each other with regards to sin issues, diba? Confront people who are sinning. But with regards to the judgment that Jesus is speaking here, that Jesus is mentioning here, it's being judgmental towards others. Imagine, friends, if God has forgiven you, given you grace, withheld the judgment that you ought to receive because of God's grace, dapat ganun din po tayo. You see how foolish being judgmental is, especially for kingdom citizens, as we see this kingdom principle coming mismo galing sa ating hari, it's, it's foolish. It is foolish. And be reminded that as you judge others with the same pronouncement, you also will be judged. With the same measure, you also will be measured. It will also be measured to you. So therefore, it is foolish to be judgmental. Again, this is talking about hypocritical judging. Hypocritical judgment. Uh thinking highly of oneself. Right? So, anong sinasabsat ng Panginoon Diyos dito sa atin? 
Itong sa pahig na ito. We should stop judging and don't get back at it. And so, ang flip side, punta tayo sa, sa, ano, sa Matthew 6.12, sa, sa Disciples' Prayer or the Lord's Prayer, ay uh, we should be forgiving. Diba? As, uh, as we ask God for forgiveness, we also should be forgiving of others. Right? So, this is what we see in this uh, first two verses. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at verse 3 and onwards. We would see judging others is foolishness and judging others is prideful. Pagiging mayabang. Right? But for now, I hope this very simple reminder is uh, encouraging to all of us. Sana rin po na, na rebuke din tayo. Okay? So, this is the king's uh, command to kingdom citizens as they live out their being kingdom citizens. Right? Sige po, manalangin tayo. And let's thank the Lord for what He has done and what He has taught us. Kahit napakasimple lang itong pahayag nito. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. Praise you, Lord. Praise you for how your word is so relevant and it's timeless and it speaks even to us right now in this time, in this situation. We pray that we would not be judging others. We would not be judgmental of others. Yes, Lord, you have commanded us to be accountable to each other. Um, tignan ang buhay ng bawat isa, ng mananampaltaya, and uh, to call out people who are sinning. And uh, to not be judgmental. To not be hypocritical. To not be looking down on others. Kasi Lord, when we judge others, we, we claim to be um, those who have the authority to judge. Kaya lamang po ang um, tamang hukom. And so Lord, we thank you that this is indeed a reminder in as much as we were forgiven, we also should be forgiving. In as much as we are asking for forgiveness, therefore we should be bestowers of forgiveness. And therefore, Lord, uh, um, those of us who have uh, gone through or went through in Matthew chapter 6 um, with regards to forgiveness, and now we look at this chapter talking about judging others hypocritically, sana po hindi kami ganito. Sana hindi kami judgmental, Lord. Sana we don't look down on people. Sana po sa inyong biyaya, we would be found as those who um, are wise so that we would not be judgmental. Maraming salamat sa pagtuturo niyo sa amin ngayon and, and, and as we anticipate the lesson, uh, the continuation of the lesson, Lord, tomorrow, we pray that you would just be uh, with us the whole day and help us not be judgmental as we re are reminded of how um, uh, you were so merciful and gracious and forgiving towards us. Maraming salamat po muli sa araw na ito and we pray that you would um, use us in spite of us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you po for joining me and I'll see you all tomorrow as we finish this section. Ingat po kayo, God bless.